in commemoration of International Women's Day, the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, ACCA, in partnership with Elect Her, hosted a robust panel discussion themed the nexus between women's political inclusion and economic performance. ACCA's commitment in December 2020 to the UN Sustainable Goals is one aspect of this. Goals 5 and 10 particularly speak to aspects of diversity and inclusion and how we need to work together to decrease some of the fundamental issues that we face. Nigeria ranks 184 out of 187 countries with women in national parliament, according to the Interparliamentary Union, and less than 5% of the country's lawmakers are women. Let's discuss some of your findings as a platform on some of the key impediments to female political participation in Nigeria. So, women participation in politics is lower than what it was the previous election cycle. Um, and at the moment, we're less than 5% at the national parliament. And the way to drive this home is to look at what happened or what played out when five gender-centric bills were proposed on the floor of the bicameral legislature. And all of them failed to secure tutored votes in the gene shape, affirmative action, special seats. I mean, these are really basic, basic provisions we're requesting for. And as a nation, if we're really serious, we understand that this is not just about women. This is about the economy. This is about survival for all. So at the moment, we have half of the, over half of the population are women, but they're not represented. Now, let me just paint what the picture looks like for you. When you get on the floor of the house and you need to propose a gender-centric bill, you have a parliament that is dominated by 95% male representation, which means they can't contextualize the peculiarity of the challenges that women face. And so you're going, you're going to continue to see those gaps. So at the moment is we have 5% and 95%. There is no... So when you're talking about breaking the bias or trying to break the gap, what gap are we bridging? It's just too wide and too far apart to bridge at the moment. While bridging the gap through initiatives like these, how responsive has the professional world been to the change movement? I think Nigerians basically want um, to have a functional society. And we also want to uh, benefit from whatever it is that, um, that we enhance our standard of living. So I think um, the average Nigerian, we just want what works. But so far, I think it has been a discussion that is currently going on at a certain level in terms of um, enlightened people and very educated people, you know, begin to advocate for the need to break biases because we see the benefit of that. But I think as time goes on, we have to expand the scope of involvement. And I like one of the uh, contributions today that we need to bring policy to the generality of Nigerians and the general public. And that is also going to be, what's also going to be needed is a massive level of education. We're happy that we're able to put this together in partnership with Elector, which is focusing on developing economic and um, political leadership and positioning for women. Abby Owolawi for Arise News.